Hey, we are alive. The gold match of the week. I'm a little bit running late. It's fine. I just have to find the server they're in, kick the HLTV on the down low. Where are they? Where are they? There? There. Interesting. Okay. I found them. We're good. I think. Unless they're just in there practicing grenades. Which is always a distinct possibility. Wait. What? Yes, okay. Kick. Get this little bitch up in here. I need to get my iPad shit. Hmm. What I do have is my balls. This is sponsored by my balls. Today's stream. Sponsored by my balls. Love the taste of balls in my mouth. Okay, so that's that. What's this? No. Where are they? There? There! Oh, shit. Fuck. Wrong server. I kicked the wrong fucking HLTV. Of course. There we go. Do 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 do. Hopefully, I'm not streaming my display so everybody's got the Archon. Da da da. Well, I don't understand. Every single server in the community, the HLTV is always glitched out. The only one that doesn't seem to glitch out as often is is ours. Do you uh, need help with anything server wise? Uh, no, I just got the uh, the HLTV kicked and everything, so I'm about to get in there now. It looks like they're in 1911. Yeah, there they are. Where is the HLTV? There it is. I'm assuming Tony won't be here today. As I have not heard word from him at all. But uh, let's see what we got here lineup wise. I did just play against typical. And yeah. That's Milo playing as Adios DOD, which makes me think he's uh, set for retirement any second here. Not good for typical. I think he's just a little bit down, missing Scotty for these matches, and I imagine their six will be Nightmare. So Milo and Cage on the heavies, Frank on the Stoss, Baron and Timo on the cars, Nightmare dropping bombs on a sniper rifle, of course. Oh wait, Manor. There is no Nightmare. I'm confused. Manor is in here. Wait, what? So Manor is in here. So I, maybe Manor's going to snipe? Maybe they're going to go no sniper for Lennon? Huh, that's interesting. Very interesting. And then obviously for T3, you've got their starting six. So every piece of speculation that we had about T3 missing guys for a 3 o'clock game, they came to play today to shove that fist right up our collective asses. Oh, God, I got to get my eye. Hold on. I'm missing all the chat. Missing all the chat. I'm also wearing my uh, my real headphones this time because I was just playing. I don't feel like swapping over. It's whatever. It ain't a big deal. Oh shit! Lord, I just opened. Okay. So, I mean, we're waiting on T3-6. I assume it will be Bud, because this is Lennon. Although we do have PDX rifling, which means... Okay, so Booten is heavying. Is that really Brandon heavying? Let me see that ping. Let me see that... Why won't the ping show up? That's fucking weird. I don't know. I think he did heavy in a scrim that we played them on earlier this week, though. So, yeah, that makes sense. Not sure who the sixth is going to be. They're seemingly missing a heavy, so it could be P12 or Bud. We'll see any second. I'm getting the chat open finally. So if anybody has sent any fucking comments in the last four and a half minutes, I have not seen them. And I apologize. Okay. There we go. So yeah, they have Cage on the sniper, it looks like. Unless that's actually Nightmare. Ugh. This is just going to confuse the fuck out of me all game. Let me see if I can get this nailed down. 672 is... 672. That is Cage. So no Nightmare today. That is not good news for Typical. 
trying to lock down Nick Patton without Nightmare is, is going to be a little bit problematic. T3's got all the big guns in this game, obviously. <clears throat> is it? Is my stream on a two-minute delay? I thought I had my... I thought I had the delay off, but I could be wrong. Okay, now I see the... I could have just looked at this. Whoops. My bad. My bad. That is 100% my bad. Ah, what the fuck? I don't know when the delay went back on. I had turned the delay off recently. Well, not recently, like at the start of the season, because there was really no reason to delay anymore. Hmm. But yeah, we've got no Nightmare for typical. Obviously no Scotty after that unfortunate screenshot situation. But they do get Frank in here. And uh, Cage is definitely, he's, he's a good sniper. He sniped once upon a time. <laughs> the crack commandments you're killing me so I mean this kind of changes things prediction wise with no nightmare because that means Nick can just I mean he can do whatever he wants going up I mean then again Cage I don't know he did snipe once upon a time I'm sure he can handle his business it's a pretty tough ask to ask a non regular sniper <laughs> I would say you're looking at Frank, Milo, Timo, Cage, Baron Manor. That would be what I'd think the rough estimate would be, right? I'm down with that. You baited me and I took it. I took it. You know I'm a master of these sort of things. I'm not too afraid to rank players as I see fit. Now, if I'm rating the allied side, we're going to have to get into a whole debate about what makes somebody valuable or invaluable. So, that'll be a whole other ball game. Disputing Milo. Oh, shit. I'm getting my fucking text. Oh, shit. Ah, whatever. I'll deal with that later. It's fine. So, it looks like they're Tim Duncan in these guys right now. They're going full Tim Duncan mode. Their nice guy ended up in pregame, but then shit's going to go sour real fast if things don't work in their favor. But I think T3 is probably feeling pretty safe right now with no Nightmare, no Scotty, especially Nightmare. I mean, Nightmare is kind of like the, the big weapon that you can just deploy anywhere you want on a map and he can clear out a route. And on top of that, oh shit, I forgot to record. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Uh... Gold, weak, shit, shit, uh, eight, HLTV, for, fuck me. We're live. I am woefully under-fucking-prepared for this, but let's just go. We'll watch PDX right off the start here. I think that's a safe bet. He is way out, Connector. He got the front spawn, and that's gonna be... Wow, no nade kills there. I'm very surprised. Good hold by Typical to not go straight into Blue Room off that initial, and Baron gets the pistol kill. And Cage with another kill off the initial two. Leo does go long on allied side most of the time. With Till and PDX going well. Greets draws out the shot from Big Window, one of the heavies. And uh, I believe, is that Milo? Yeah, that's Milo playing as DOD Lenny. They're going to try to just jump on the cap. Not much Nick can do in this case. Oh no, but Cage stayed standing and he's taken out. Double kill for Nick Patton. A little bit of a mental error there on Cage. He should have proned right out. And that is a lot dead on typical. They get the respawn right away, but shit is going wrong for them quickly with all the team dying in a row. That'll be both double caps for T3 right now and a push for the one. Leo's already up to L Hall with a nade kill on his name. Looking for anybody to make a mistake and give him a freebie here. He peeks out. Nice flick shot into the hole, but he's taken down right away by Manor. And now typical's got a post up on the one. Manor with a TK there. A little bit inadvertent spray down. And he knows Patton is posted up somewhere over here. Trying to get the shot drawn out. He gets him. So that's a 2.5k for Manor. One of them was a teammate. T3 very good at rotating to spots where they need players, though, on a whim. So I don't expect uh, Typical to be able to grab long, even though most teams would probably try here. Timo's just trying to spam out red. I'm not sure that there's actually anybody there. Oh, yep, there is. Shows what I fucking know. Till's going to try to come out the front door to the one. He is taken down from behind, though, and Typical gets long back, so a little bit of map control here. Nick Patton's going to have some work to do on this side of the map. Takes down Manor. It looked like he was trying to go prone there. Gets a second angle there onto Frank, and Frank takes him down with a wall shot. Nice kill there for Frankie Lawrence. 
Stas back in hand, and he's peeking back, Cave. Booting in apartments. Does find Milo. That's unfortunate. Oh, no, they're dying quick. Three down, four down, five down so fast. There's one on respawn and one left alive right now. Make that one left alive, period. Okay, they all came back. Nice double kill for Milo, prone holding the one. I mean, you want to hate on the prone in, but sometimes you really got to do it. Like, don't let your ego get the best of you in that spot and end up getting you killed because you're going for the crouch STG. Ryan! Oh, and a third prone kill there for Milo. And Milo has to commit to the Spec Ops strat here, it looks like. And a fourth. Milo on a run here. Going to get mid-flag back. And there's only two left alive on T3. It's the Well team. PDX and Till. Milo going to make it all the way up through swing. He's going to go prone. Oh, man. Milo. He gets... No, he didn't get any. I can't believe he didn't get any there. That's crazy. Nice shot by Booten. I think he was the guy flying out there. And a knife kill for Till. Where the hell was that? Oh, in blue room. Oh, no. Frank thought he was safe to get in there. Manor finds a double kill of his own in Batcave, though. Nick is posted up at swing. So if Manor should decide to go all the way out Batcave, he will have a free pass, but just got to be looking to his upper left. That'd be good time. Nate, it does get Bud. That's one apartment guy down. And another one for Manor. He's going off running right now. Seven and four, leading the way, uh, not in the server, but on his team. Cage with a uh, bar grabs another one as well on his class of choice, typically. No pun intended. And Manor's about to peek right into... Never mind, Nick's gone. I thought that timing was going to work out against him, but typical doing a great job holding on to the apartments here. They got to get into well, and PDX will just not leave red. Nice shot there for Baron, but Bud is here. He proned across, so they weren't expecting it, and he gets a nade kill and a bar. Patton with one of his own. Manor's still alive. Where is he? He's finally taken down by Nick. This might be a chance for T3 to grab. Nope, never mind. Timo's there on the rotate. And Nick goes down, but T3 is already back at the well. Another kill for Timo there. Pushed in upper wraps. 26 health on him, and Nade will do it. Here's him coming from uh, both back cave. Oh, just missed that flick into spiral. They're going to be able to get into mid here unless he can drop. And they definitely got a Nade coming for him. Oh, a little miscommunication. Double miscommunication. Oh, no, typical. Oh, no, it's all falling apart. Who's left? Nobody. They're all dead. Milo's back with a big double kill, but he... Oh, no. Are they respawned yet? They are. Okay, I was going to say, Milo, go back to the one. What are you doing? That was a little bit crazy. That was a little bit nuts. The double TK. Typical was looking so good. They had full map control everywhere, but well... They just had to get PDX and Till out of there in a timely manner, and instead they shoot each other to death. Leo is pushed up to the Axis Loft now. Cage trying to get him out of there. Looking for the wall spam. Leo will just fly out the other side, though, so... Where is he? I'm guessing he already has. Yep. Waiting for Nick. Calling it up. Booten gets mid and a kill. He's going to try to push dubs. He's got a sniper by his side. They're going to go for well. Can he get this break off? He does! Wow, I'm shocked that that actually broke it. Booten with a nice well break. Till is there as well with another frag. He is taken down by Frank on the Unter. And Manor still leading the way in frags. Till right behind him at 9 and 7. And Nick Patton up here sniping apartments still. Gonna fall back to Long. Try to hold this flag. Oh, nice shot there from Cage. There it is. Long cap for typical incoming. PDX with a two-piece of his own, though. Clears out well. And that's both cars down. And Leo with a big nade. Oh no, it all falls apart so fast again. Just the heavy team left alive. Only one left alive. Nope, they're all they're all respawned. It's fine. Can they get long? They've got the one. Oh no! Oh no, the timing just really hurt typical there on the respawn. And there it is, the first full cap of the game goes to the allies. T3. Cage is sniping, yeah. No nightmare today, so Cage is filling in some pretty pretty big size 13s. Not doing a bad job so far, though. Six and five. Patton seven and six, so nothing gotten out of hand just yet. Timo with the nade kill on his teammate there. Not great. Bud going to try to take the push through. Nope, never mind. Looks like things long here will work out for typical. Double kill for Frank and another one for Manor. So it's just Booten and PDX left alive. Respawn coming. PDX is watching his spawn. Till gets a frag there on Manor. Oh, no, and they're all dying so fast again. 
Six on three right now. Power play for T3. PDX looking for the spam into blue. Not going to happen. Falls back from a nade. Going to pre-fire dubs. Nope, not there. Checking out blue. Just missed that shot into dubs. Booten does grab mid. Milo's down. PDX still trying to spam away into blue hall here. Patton with a kill there on cage. And, uh, yeah. Demo, or, uh, typical, not T3. Has to get, there it is! I was gonna say, has to get him out of bread and a triple kill for Frank on Long. Wow, they're all dead besides Till. Where is Till? He's gotta fall all the way back to the one. Respawn not in yet. Respawn not in yet. There it is. Frank gets taken down and Till does just enough to keep them alive for those five seconds on the respawn. Big play by James. I am sipping on balls. Hell yeah, baby. I'm going old school for this. I got me a 12-pack, $30. Oof, so good. And T3 hanging out for dear life now, but a return fire cap for typical would be really, really timely after giving up that just really just a, a came down to a mistimed death. Patton does find Teemo peek and swing, and typical's got to try not to all die at once this time. That's where they're falling apart. They're just dying in bunches. PDX finds Baron in upper red. That was a ridiculous shot. And Patton gets Frank along, so they're going to try to jump this long cap. Nick's got mid. Leo finds himself a scavenged car. Oh, double kill for Milo. Traded right away by Bud. Manor traded by PDX, too. Little bit of a man advantage for typical. Never mind. PDX gets a second. Both double caps in danger are going T3's way right now. Leo found his way out, trying to find Cage here. They're not sure where he's at. I'm not sure where he's at either, to be honest. I'm just going to watch him. I'm going to be on this journey with him. Frank finds PDX. Frank has been the PDX killer so far this half. Leo, nice car shot there on Frank. Where's Cage? Oh, he's in their loft. That's cute. Well, he's got to really do some... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, do some serious work here. And there it is, Nick with the trade. But enough was done. We'll see if they jump a heavy out long. PDX has a well-primed aid here for underpass. Does not land. Milo with a double kill on apartments, too. Manor still leading the way on the frags. Looking great getting his chance to step in in this match. Who was that in upper apps? Oh, it's Milo. He got away with full health, and he's going to go prone at the top of a uh, spiral. Oh, no, the timing. He does get him, though. Bud goes down. Down to 9 HP is Milo, and Booten takes him down from Batcave. Big kill to get there. And now Timo's getting uh, collapsed upon by three different spots. Never mind. Nothing's happening just yet. Till is pushed up to the front of Boardwalk. He is ready for peaks coming blue. Leo with another kill. Booten with an aid kill. Three down quick on uh, typical side. I keep going to call them T3. And here we go. Going to push underpass. They got to get long too, but they're... Ooh, they got it. They're getting off it. What's happening? What's happening over there? Now they're on it. Okay. I have no idea how that kept getting broken. I assume they just kept trying to leave it early. Baron with two kills of his own, though. Hanging on to the one. Patton finds Frank. Milo with a car kill on Patton. Baron with a third. Hat trick for him. Taken down. And it's all... Oh, they're respawned. Never mind. But Cage, kind of the last man standing here, waiting for the spawn. Leo shot him... I'm not sure where from. I didn't see him. Manor says sorry. I'm not sure why. I don't think he did anything that time. And yeah, it's pretty much just a stalemate. Waiting for a chance to push up to the one. Frank gonna call the boys over to long. Try to get the quick cap done. Sees one. Has to fall back. 37 health on him. Lots of deaths going the way of typical right now. Respawn came in on one of them. Oh no, they're gonna make the push right here. Cage finds PDX. More to come though. Frank taken down by Patton at long. Unfortunate, because now he's got to deal with left and right side push on him. Team is all back. Wow, they just have a bar hanging out big window this whole time. Booten did not move in like 20 seconds there. He was up there when Frank peaked, then two more deaths. Oh my god, they're all dying. They're all dying. Here comes the push. Timo with an aid kill. Cage with one on Leo. Booten's made his way up. He's gone prone. He's got... Never mind, he's not prone. That was just a crouch kill. I'm not sure. Looking to pre-fire away. 83 health on him. And now it's just down to Booten and PDX. Last two alive. The respawn did come in quickly. PDX has one. Spamming away. Finds himself a car. Gonna fall all the way back into the cubby. Try to get some sort of cover here. And Baron with a drive-by shooting. Takes down PDX there. Which is a big, big head to get in the bag. So the tick points are just kind of adding up here for T3. Baron with another kill. Looking great so far. Really coming up big, but Booten with the standing bar gets him. He's going to be pushing blue. Six on three right now, and they got to hold the one. 
Who is there? Frank was long. Cage is long, too. I don't think there's anyone at the one. Baron just got out there. They do have a heavy and underpass. It's Manor. Finds Booten, but there's going to be a bunch more coming this way. Nothing coming there. Nade drops an underpass. Baron looking to get a frag. Checking out Upper Red. You know PDX will be there. Oh, what a shot on Till, but PDX trades it right away. Baron with the car looking strong so far. I mean, I guess the score doesn't say that. But every time I'm watching him, he's getting kills. You can't blame me. So T3 just kind of strangling out the typical boys right now. Seven minutes left. Still time to work out of this. Manor up to 20 and 17. We got three guys at 18 and Leo, PDX, and Till. All the rifles. Make that boot in two. Patton at 17. Bud coming up the rear with 11 and 17. But Bud is really more the passive guy, so... That is the W2Z jerk control. So I, I've i only had these balls for like the last two days. You know, I'm drinking one of them a day. They're really low on caffeine. They're only like basically the same amount as a pop. 60 milligrams. Normally I drink a monster, which is 130 milligrams. And if anyone here drinks bang energy drinks, I'd suggest you stop. Because that's like 300 milligrams a fucking can. Which is nuts. Oh no, another nade kill for Till. It's all going south here for typical. They really don't want to give up another cap out. Patton's got all the way up to long steps. What a shot on team owner Nick Patton. Gets scoped in an L hall. Nades should be coming this way. He gets all the way out to the doorway. Nothing in the hole yet. He's going to wait it out though. Oh, but he's spammed down by Manor. Nice kill for Manor to drive by up into blue. Baron goes down to Leo too. And Till's got to fall all the way back out of blue. He dropped his gun. Manages to get it back before any damage is done. Lots of trading going on here. Typical is pretty okay with that, so long as they can keep somebody alive at the 1 if it were a 1-on-1 -on -one scenario. Timo, nice shot there on Till, posted up on Boardwalk. Oh, I thought he was going to get it, but PDX comes out on top, and you know he's got a nade ready for Milo here. Milo's got to get up because of that. Gets out, spamming away, and PDX taken down by Baron. They may be able to hop this. Where is Till? Oh, they're at double windows. No break coming. Nice, nice peek there by team owner and the nade as well. Heads up play there by typical to be aware that apart apartments was down. Leo's pushed all the way up long steps here, though. He's going to flank underpass. Almost shot his teammate. He says, get the hell out of here. Go underpass. Takes down the ghost of Milo, and Frank gets him with a nice headshot on the Stas. So threat averted for the time being, but it looks like they're going to be able to get on well any second here. PDX and Till both live. Calling for air support via grenade. Till almost ran into a teammate's grenade there, but PDX gets one. And now here goes Bud underpass. No, nope, Booten underpass. Car in hands. Nice shot. Bud with one of his own from blue. That's a 2K. They got both heavies up into blue with a car. Booten with another one. And it's just Cage last alive. Booten with the 4K and the cap out. Another one for T3. 136 point lead here. Just under five minutes left in the first half of this predominantly allied sided map. <laughs> Thought you'd like that, man. Ooh, I almost choked on some balls there. Oh, it's empty. I'm a bum. I'm bummed out now. I'm not going to drink another one because then I'm just going way overboard on the caffeine. What a nade by Leo. I think that actually went outside the loft. It did. That hit this wall and went down the... Wait, what? Was it this nade or this nade? I hope it was the second one because otherwise that's that's a scary proposition. Double kill for Milo on the first. Baron elects to leave their first flag and go for a big, big flank here. Milo taken down by Booten, traded by Greets, traded by Bud, traded by Manor. How about um bum bum bum? <laughs> Typical, though, in a pretty good position here. They've got Baron. Never mind. PDX with the wall shot on Baron. Ends that good position by Typical. Manor's got a freebie here, though. Booten goes down. Got to be on the lookout for Bud, though. He's usually close behind his heavy partner. Patton posted up on a pixel and upper apps. Takes him down. Nice shot for Nick there. Where is he at score-wise now? 21-16. and 16. Cage filling in for Nightmare. Not doing a bad job, honestly. I mean, Nick is a really frustrating sniper to play against. This is the tough part, though. Is Leo, Leo on long. He will just sprint back and forth in those spots, and you just can't... Like, there's no hit in the sprint hitbox. There he goes. He's out in the open. Cage gets him that time. Now he's got to look for Nick. Where is Nick? That's the question. He is. Upper apps. All right. Nade incoming. They should throw the second one. Nope. They throw both of them their side long. 
shots fired, and uh, no break coming. There we go. Typical with one double cap. If they could return fire on a cap out here, I mean, that's that makes it very respectable. But they do have to get well, and that's been the big, big problem for them so far this half. Till and PDX both playing really well. Timo with a suicide nade. They just respawned. It looks like Long's going to go down too. There it is. Milo finds PDX. Going to get in the mid. Nobody there waiting for him. He's ready for the push in. 2K there for Milo. Bypass the flag. Comes back to get it. Oh, they're all dying. No, oh, never mind. It's all right. Timo got two there with the cage. Well, Timo got one. Cage got one. And now Milo takes forward position up into the back cave. Booten and Till pushed up to the one here. Leo's going to go searching for Milo. Oh, my God. They're just holding them down on the one. We got to get back. Nope. Nope. That's it. Oh, they got it back. Wow, that was close. Nick back here on underpass. Going to do a zigzag dance. They've got nades coming from blue. Manor finds one. Looking for the second. What a 2K for Manor. Spinning in circles there. Gets Bud and PDX. All of Brazil down, but Patton with the flank. Patton going to push blue now. Goes for the no scope. Does not land. Leo takes down Frank. Baron just gets up to the blue steps, and they're still collapsing on him. Six on three right now. So much work to be done. Cage with a sniper kill on Leo. At least takes on one prong of that push. Big nade by Till out of blue, though, and he's going to peek it now. Oh, no, but a double nade of the wrong variety for PDX. Patton's still alive and underpass, taken down by Frank. They got to be careful to not all leave the one, though. T3 notorious for randomly finding ninja ways to get to the one. Both heavies in blue now. Booten taken down, looking for a Garand. Maybe not the best swap coming out of blue. Bar for Garand, but he is a rifle. Bud able to get that. Oh, nice pre-fire there for the 2K. And Bud is just causing problems in blue now and a hat trick before he's killed by his teammate. That's unfortunate. Nick sees one underpass, looking for a fancy pants shot. Pre-fire comes in. Pistol is his weapon of choice, really, when it comes down to it. Booten takes down PDX with a grenade. Lots of TKs going on here so far from both teams. Patton's still alive and underpass. They need to nade him out of here. Everything going the way of T3 right now. Three left on typical. Milo, Frank, and Cage. Respawn comes in. Cage spotting the blue push. Milo there right next to him. Patton gets Frank. Here it comes. Oh, that, that was right on him. Oh, the STGs with three kills, though. Bring it back a little bit. Just down to Cage and Manor now. Nice shot there in the underpass for Cage. Still more nades coming from underpass. PDX gets all the way out to trip. 20 seconds left. They're going for a last second cap out push. Frank finds PDX. And the guy underpass. Nice one stops there on a Patton's leg. And now Patton is a sniper just like me. And that will do it. Five seconds left and a 170-point lead for T3 after the first half. Big, big half for Booten. Big half for Manor. Leo. Top fragger, though, is Booten, followed by Manor, followed by Leo, followed by, I think, Till, PDX. Yeah, really, really good half there for Manor. He just made me eat crow for my pre-match rankings of Typical's roster. I believe I put Manor at the bottom of that. However, he ended up at the top. Started from the bottom, now he here. So, they have a lot of work to do. I mean, 170 points, you're looking at, what, like five cap outs? That was a Viking-level performance, too, by Manor. It really was. He came up with a lot of big clutch kills. They could have easily been capped on multiple more times. However, obviously, not optimal. 100 and... What was it? 170? Yeah, 170 points on the dot. So at 40 points a cap, looking at like uh, five caps. You need to get five caps more than T3, which is not an easy feat on any map. He definitely must have heard me because he came out flying here. That is true, Matt. Especially on this map, getting if this if they were going into their Axis side, I'd be like, no fucking chance. But it's a very allied-sided map. I've I've played matches like this where we had a big lead going into our Axis side, and it was like, yeah, we'll be fine, and then pff, just evaporates. I think specifically against Koalas one time, it was the reverse even, where like we had a big lead after our Axis half. And then we gave up, like, six caps on our allied side and ended up winning by, like, three. Something like that. This map is is explosive, like diarrhea, one might say. Or like the diarrhea that I've had. At times. Okay, are they coming? Are they coming? 
I think it's a two minute uh, buffer. So I really wanted to take a shower before this stream, but I'll do it before the next one. Which is another big match coming later, but that time in silver, washed up versus sleepers. I'm super excited to see that one. Oh my god, it's already alive! It's already alive! Oh shit. Record, record, record. Oh boy. Oh fuck me! What the hell was that? Oh my god, it's a nightmare, it's a nightmare. That's fine. Sorry, sorry, the sound, I know, whoops. So, what's going on so far? Not much. Bud just shooting his teammate. Is Booten car barring? He is. Booten on the car bar here. PDX goes to the Unter. Nice shot for Booten there. Oh, what a flick shot on Baron! What the fuck was that, Brandon Newton? Turning the clock back to 2005 right there with a ridiculous headshot on Baron and Booten looking swift so far on this Lennon match. Well, Cap is T3s. Things not looking great here for typical so far. Leo trying to find this guy in red. Does. It's Baron. Pre-firing into connector. He's got a partner up above him. Two stacks of cars in the red room. Nice pre-fire there for team owner. Typical trying desperately to hang on to long here. Cage looking for Patton. They're on the cap. They're on the cap. Oh, no. He wasn't sure which one to shoot. Now he's got two guys with the big box. If one of them's got a nade, he's dead. Patton fires off the first shot. Till does find greets as well. He's prone. Nice shot there by Cage onto a prone Till. And this is the team that said J-Rod plays slow. I'd just like to point that out. Cage still... Oh, oh, nice shot by Patton on a jumping Cage trying to get around that corner. Manor looking to bait this cap. I assume one of these rifles is still in red or something? What the hell? Is this an actual wall shot? It is! What the fuck is that? I've never seen that. That's gotta be something they just discovered somehow. I have never, ever seen somebody even attempt that. Anyone just see that? That shot by Brandon was absolutely insane. And speaking of which, he's up to 5-3. and three. Team owner up to 6-1. and one. Milo with the bar this half, 5-1. and one. Booten making his way out, and Milo make it 6-1, and one, matching Timo here. And a third! Hat trick from Milo, looking for the fourth, taken down by Bud's nade, but he's got backup in Manor. And the Vikings strikes again with a kill there on Bud. Patton, oh, Baron, you got a lot of work to do to hold this one. He decides to fall back, not let him know he's here. Oh, I don't think I would have done that. Patton's still alive on 19 health here at long, desperately hanging on. <laughs> what? I didn't even realize he shot there. I have no idea that he even shot there. I never saw a guy, I never heard a shot. What a shot by Nick Patton. Timo does trade on Brandon with the dead nade. Tilt taken down by Cage, but T3's got the well back again. And things again start to fall apart here for Typical so fast. Greets up here in mid, trying to hang on. They do have the respawn already coming in. Bud with another frag. Frank, a nice two-piece there. Gets the car. Looking to spam into the Axis loft right now. Gets all the way back to big window. And there it is. Hat trick for Frank. He's calling for a long cap. Four, four down on T3. Just booting until the well boys left. Actually, Till's a long boy on this half. Frank, oh, he just couldn't get that second shot off. They're going to jump out on it, and they're gifting Till kills there. At that point, you just got to wait it out. Let the sniper get the pick. Three go down on typical side. Five on three. Patton gets his way up into loft here. Draws the shot out of cage. I don't know why. I just started to get set up to shoot. That was weird. Yep. That is a thing. I don't like it, and I think it's not even supposed to really be there. But, yep, that is a thing. I hate it. Think about that extra angle. It's it's insane to me. I feel like some that was like a, an oversight by somebody during the process of making this map. Well, obviously, Lurf. And Nick looking for this ridiculous spam that I've... Like, what? That goes through like paper, dude. Look at... You can see the bullet holes come through here and just like blow this thing up. It's like there's nothing there. That's gross. So everybody remember that. Don't forget to shoot through your local paper wall and try to kill your opposing sniper every chance you get. Team owner in upper red. Milo ticket. Team owner just shot somebody in double windows. And uh, not sure how much damage it did. Who's there? It did 10 damage. He did 10 damage with a car. And this is a cap out. 
I mean, I'm just baffled by shit like that. Ten damage with a car. But meanwhile, that paper wall on long is doing like, it's like there's nothing there. But clipping this little bit of a corner in double windows takes a bullet down by 90%. That's crazy. And T3 extends their lead by even more. Now up to 220 points. Just under 15 minutes left. And typical has, I mean, just an absurd amount of work to do. PDX pushing up on well. Leo, another frag to his name. Right now, team owners leading the way at 10, but Booten matches him right away, and they're already pushed to the 1. PDX went straight through connector, just Milo and Cage left alive. PDX going to relocate, hopping on over to the box, spamming free fires. He is taken down right away, so is Leo, so threat averted on the first flag. Nobody's capped it back, thank you. Nice shot for Greets on the opposing sniper there. Frank looking sharp so far with the Garand. Oh, but that timing... Bud's able to take him down. Traded right away by Manor, so heads up play there. Manor proning up into Blue Hall, and Booten is ready for it. Brandon is sharp. Going to push on up into mid here. He's got PDX with him. Booten, nice shot there on Milo. Here's his teammate. He's, he's freaking out about it. It's fine. Double kill there for Leo as well. And, uh, yeah, full control. Just Manor left alive here. Where is he? He's in big window. He's got to get this break. He's got to get this break. There it is. Good play by Manor. They definitely have multiple guys here still, though. He's going to have to do more. They're in mid. He jumps it. Wow, Bud didn't hear that. Bud taken down. And Manor coming up huge in big window there as the last alive. Another cap out would have won. I mean, it's pretty much out of reach already. But that cap out would have made it, like, out of, out of reach. Manor spamming at his own loft. 13 health on him is Patton. Not Patton. Is it Till? Where is he? Oh, no one's over there. I'm tripping out. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense, right? Where is Patton right now? He's in the loft. Cage trying to find this trade on him. He just keeps getting kind of trapped in apartments. Nice no-scope, though, on Booten. Gonna head back to look to complete this movie clip with a shot on Nick. Coming up in a big window. Nick not there yet. He is spamming the wall, though. And he's shot in the back by his... Uh, PDX and upper abs. Baron spamming away at dubs. Not quite. Pfft, wow, Leo just drive by shooting him. 63 health here on Manor, and Frank has no helmet left. So this nade by Till is a big one. There it is. Frank taken down. And it looks like they're going to go for the long cap. There it is. So just mid in their first flag. Left held here. Timo with the nade coming for blue. Not getting one. Trying to get out onto Well here. He's got a partner with him, but they got work to do first. Leo is down. One man in double windows. Baron gets that frag. Where? Oh, they're being shot from Long again. He just got hit for 50 through three walls. The Long wall, the barrel, and the Well cap wall. He does find the guy, though, and that's Vengeance. Timo with a nice shot there. We'll see if Typical can work off of that. They do have Long now as well. You gotta hold this Well cap, though. Who's there? Frank with a big nade for long steps. Running Garand. He's got a car now. Oh, no. He just missed that shot, and Bud gets him. Looked like Frankie was poised to go on a streak. Oh, my God. Wide peek by Leo just obliterates Cage out of the sniper loft. Patton looking to spam this blue room with no scopes. Did find one, but I'm not sure if it was a wall. Looks like Milo was peaked. Wow, and there it is. No scope on Manor. Going to grab that ammo box and a bar and push up to mid now. And Nick Patton is a guy. Oh, he didn't see that guy. He didn't see that guy. Yep. So that is long team down. Bud does get Milo out of upper apps. We'll see if T3 decide to push up into mid or if they're just going to try to make sure they don't give up a cap. PDX traded right away by Baron. And the spamming double windows is insane. I mean, these walls seem to be thinner than they are on the old Lennon, from what I can tell on how much they look to be going through. I believe there is a guy here to ninja break this. Ah, uh, and he's not able to. We got Frank spamming it. I don't think Frank realizes that that's not what they were spamming before, though. Oh, God, he 90s him, and PDX takes down both long players. One with a grenade. Nick is shooting at everything right now, wall-wise. Not finding anything yet. I'm not sure if that angle would work. Pulls out the pistol, and of course that works. What is that? Baron gets him. I don't understand that pistol registration. Bud with a 2K. Trades going left and right right now. And some more. And some more. I mean, that was just 
one kill traded over and over and over and over for a whole cycle of both teams. Typical's got 10 minutes to cap out. It was 5 before, so say 7 times. They have to cap out once every minute and a half from here on out. Actually, that still wouldn't do it. Because then they'd run out of time. So really, they have to cap out like once every minute and 10 seconds. So a good start would be to cap out now. There it is. Nick looking for that shot, and he doesn't realize it. Does Cage. Cage taken down from that really stupid broken angle that shouldn't possibly exist on this map. What a shot there for Milo, standing 2K into blue. Gets himself reloaded, going to push out. No one there just yet. They are on the right side of him, though, I believe. Yep. He's going to go prone. I like it. We'll see if they're prepared for that low angle. They got a guy underpass looking to break this well cap. It's booting, and he does. Hat trick there for Milo. Big plays coming out of Milo. No, they can't get the well. Uh, looked like Typical might have a chance to finally break through and make this a, a game at least, but... Right now, we got five on two. They do just respawn. Frank with the two-piece now on two guys along. Bar pushing up. Grabs himself a car. Peaks wide. Nades are going to be coming all over his face. Oh, no. When Till got up, he just missed that shot, but does enough to delay them so that Typical can grab this well cap. And now they've got a full frontal nudity push coming. No. Taken down right at the flag. T3 going to cycle through long right now to try to get this quick double cap out of the way. And I think they will. Doesn't sound like anyone's nearby. Yep. So, any any threat of a cap is gone for the time being. Oh, nice shot there for Timo on boot and posted up at the archway. Till grabs the mid flag as well for T3. Eight minutes left. And they're going to have to find a way to get together, grab this long cap. That's one down at the one. Timo falling back out to check underpants. Nothing there just yet. Milo with another kill. Leo goes down to Timo as well. Going to push up all the way. Gets all the way out. Still got to get that long, though. Who's there? Who's left? Cage coming out the long. And Patton's on the ramp, so not going to happen just yet. Patton's still alive over here. 17 and 8 on him. Booting with a double kill. Oh, no. Well's going down, too, right now. Here it comes. Greets did find one in dubs. He's here to try to break it. No, he's taken out by Leo. Never mind. And there it is. Full map control back in the hands of T3. Typical. Looking less and less possible to get this done now. <laughs> I love it. The ass angle. Uh, T3 won first half, Tony. By 170. So it's a little bit out of reach for Typical now. They'd have to cap out every minute starting now. It's the only way to get it done. PDX has something to say about that, though. With two kills of his own. Where is he? Bud gets mid. I'm guessing PDX is going to the one right now because I just cycled through every other spot and he's nowhere to be found. Where is he? Oh, he's upper apps. Okay, whoops. Shows what I fucking know. Booten pushed lower tree. Patton finds another frag there on Frank. Leo's pushed up Khan. Movie clip spot. Movie clip spot. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. He's got two. Where is everybody? Oh, that's it. There it is. Another full cap for T3 putting this way, way out of reach with six and a half left. And it has fallen apart for Typical here. A tough, tough effort. But just coming up... Well, they're coming up well short, but they were close on a few occasions to being able to break out. Big kills for T3 at timely points. So far, Booten and Leo leading the way. Timo just caught up to them as well, and Milo at 22 just behind everybody. Not sure what Booten was laughing at. I believe he was naded. Wow, that nade blew up right in his face. Milo does get the kill in the end with the bar. He's going to push blue. Bud's there, though. 37 health on him. Gets across the blue. Trying to get ready to uh, try to break this well, Cappy. Here's one underpass side, and he gets him. Headshot there on Baron. And T3 probably going to be able to get well control now. He baits the flag. They will be expecting to have to break this. So they might catch him with their pants down and a nade in their hands. I guess not. Where are we going here? Oh, they're pushed up long. Nice. Typical with the long cap, but uh, it's about one-fifth of the job here so far. Cage just missing that shot on Till. Till with the nade. And where is Frank on the back up here? Oh, double kill for Milo. Very swift on the heavy team. Looking for Mori. Here's him coming blue. Got to reload that BAR. Booten taken down two. He sees one in blue. Does Milo. He's going to push. Yep, there it is. Leo taken down by a headshot. Another three-piece for Milo. 
Till is behind them in mid. Oh, and Patton with a pistol break on the well cap. That guy's pistol makes no sense, man. If my pistol registered half as often as that pistol, I would get like 10 extra kills every time I play. My pistol just shoots fucking blanks. I got fucking pistol dysfunction. Till with another kill there in a back cave. Not gonna go for the long cap. Let's grab the mid flag. And oh no, a lot of kills going T3's way again in quick order here. Timo's pushed out connector. 90's one. Finds one. Nice 2k there for Colin. And a third hat trick for Timo. And are looking for a fourth and underpass. But it's Patton walling from long. Till is dead on long. So Patton left alone over there. Timo gets out. Just missed that car shot. They're pushing up on him blue. He's being spammed down to nothing. 90 health on him still after being hit about 10 times. Oh, and Leo with a running car shot there. An underpass gets him. No blue hall control for typical yet. Oh, and there it is. Prone manner taken down. PDX with a car now, and he is a dangerous boy when he's got one of these in his hands. Bud with a TK there on Leo says, Stop getting so many kills, my man. You're up to 27. Let me get a few of these, please. And Cage with a flank there on PDX from Spiral. This might be their chance to get out. Never mind. Till with an 8 into Spiral. Bud with a frag and a mid and a second one as well. Who's left on the one? Anybody? Manners here in upper apps. Never mind, he's dead. Where's the rest of the team? Oh, Milo's posted up over on the little Tetris boxes, and they're coming from everywhere. One kill for Milo. Free firing connector. That till nade does a lot of damage, and Leo with the kill on Milo's ghost once again. Leo pushing up here, taken down by Frank. Oh! Frank with the 2K, spam the guy in lower red. PDX gets him with the sniper. Frank, that was ridiculous, my dude. What the fuck? Just one bullet into lower red and he got the kill on it. Nutty. <laughs> I've got serious pistol dysfunction. I need some Cialis for this dysfunction in my pistol. If I can get one that works like Patton's, you know? Just rock hard. Give me that blood flow into my pistol. And Leo with another kill from Connector is taken down right away by Cage, but you got PDX up in swing now. Nade doesn't quite get out of the swing. But this is my personal favorite spot on this half of this map, so I'm going to keep watching. There's one. Bud there prone has his back. See if he can get more done here. They got a two-man two setup in swing door. The spawn's coming in. They look to be just trying to get the whole team before they push to cap. Two guys are there, not prepared for the push out of swing. Bud gets another one before he's traded by Manor. Patton's pushing connector right now. He's got one. PDX trades that. And another one here. There it is. PDX gets him traded by Manor. Patton's still alive. Where are the nades, boys? Leo finds one nade of his own. Patton with another kill. Still alive over here. Patton has three so far. Looking for more. Checking out the cage. There it is. Fourth for Patton. I don't know why he didn't pull out his pistol. It's the best gun in the game. Still on 32 health. Where are the nades? Six kills for Nick Patton. Push connector. 28 and 13. And he's going to fall back with his life as well. Till with a nade to spawn, doesn't get anyone. Minute and a half left, T3 threatening for another cap here. Oh, what a jump. Somebody just did a little bit of a pole vault over the top of Till's head. Where's Nick Patton in all this? He fell back to lower red. He's on a six kill streak at very least right now. Manor does grab mid. And now Nick prepared for a push in through lower red. Booting with a two piece of his own. Gets mid back, traded right away by Milo. Nick prepared for this push to the right ninja hall. Timo with two of his own. Oh, what's going to happen here? There it is. Baron gets him. I thought Nick was about to go crazier. So this might be a well cap for typical. Maybe? Maybe? Nope. Bud's still alive in blue. He found Timo pushing up double windows now. <laughs> that they are. That they are. I mean, to me, it's just like when... Like, the way that you that they play, it's just don't talk shit about anyone else playing slow if that's how you play. You know, just don't be a hypocrite is the basic gist of it. I don't care if you're going to play slow. I play slow. But I don't talk shit to people for playing slow after it. That was where my issue came from with them the other day. It had to be said. Till with a nade heading up to big window here. Frank found a two-piece on the bar there. Just under 30 seconds left. Leo looks like he's going to finish this off with the top frag on Axis. Unless Booten's got something to say about it. As he got two. He's pushed up Khan. And there it is. Not going to be able to get more. Ice is it for Leo at least. 10 seconds left. That's 125 points this half. 170. 295 point lead. 
Till is the last alive here, so maybe something could happen to bring that closer. No, there's not enough time. There it is. Big, big win for uh, T3 on Lennon over Typical. Typical, very much shorthanded, missing Nightmare, and obviously Scotty, who is suspended. Um, but, uh, you know, Manor played well. Baron played well, I believe. Ha ha ha. BTP, you might say. And wow, I mean, what an effort by T3 there. Just not even letting it get close. Looking like a well-oiled machine. Booten busting out the car bar. I believe he top-fragged overall. 32 on Axis. 33 on Allies for 65. He beats out Leo by 1. Manor had 31 and 23, so didn't quite get there. Timo didn't quite get there. Milo, 25, and I think he had 31. Yes, yes, so didn't quite get there. Yeah, it was uh, Booten at 65, Leo at 64, and I believe maybe Nick Patton at 56. Something like that, I don't know. Matt will do the stats. You'll, guys, you'll see it on the Dodcast. Um, but to check out the standings, this does change some things. So that will put T3 up to 6-2 and two and drop Typical to 5-3, and three, which is painful for my prediction of them winning the title this season. But hopefully they don't get discouraged by this. Uh, you know, they just got to figure out their roster situation now with Scotty out. It's unfortunate. He is the team leader. Um, but they've got some adversity to try to play through for the remainder of the season. They are still one of the favorites. Just got to figure out the lineup and the classes and the routes and everything, and they will be good. Getting guys into play and everything right now. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, typical, not going to drop out of the playoffs for this. I believe it's physically impossible at this point with five wins. Because, um, yeah, Slow Loris definitely can't get in because there's only two matches left, and the least number of wins is three. Clinic over an Icy Hat, though, right, right in this little cluster, any one of these teams could go out. Um, even if they both were to win their two matches, or I mean, even if they were to win both of those two matches, I believe Typical has the tiebreaker on on all of them at this point, unless I'm wrong. Because Typical's, oh wait, no. So wait, who was that? Who was that Typical forfeit win over turn against Clinic? So Clinic does technically have the tiebreaker over them now. So Typical could, in a very weird scenario, end up out of it. I didn't. Oh, no. Was it through that spot that Nick keeps uh, spamming? Because I didn't even know that was a thing until I saw Nick shooting through it. Was it on allies? That that wall spam spot is ridiculous. It just is, It's literally like paper. I'm shocked by how much the bullets go through that. But then the old spot where it's like the next to the ramp where it curves around, that spot just, it doesn't seem, it's like, you know, 20 damage with a Garand through that, like 30 damage with a Sniper. Okay, it was actually that wall. Wow, so you did it the old-fashioned way, too, because Nick was spamming, it was like to the right of the bench through that wall, and that was going through so much. Like, the amount of, that would have probably done almost full damage through that. Okay, so it was... It was, okay, yeah, that does so much damage. That's crazy. I didn't see it, though. I missed it. With my luck, I probably just switched off you at the point that you did it, because that seems to be how things go for me lately. As soon as I stop watching someone, they do something crazy. I have yet to hit that shot, ever. I've never hit the shot from long into well, in a scrim, in a 12-man, in a pub, in a match. It drives me crazy. For some reason, I just can't do it. Meanwhile, Frank has done it like 72 times in matches. And there's like a whole, uh, that I Stand Alone movie, that guy does it like 50 times in one movie. I just want to do it once. I'm doing it tonight. You'll see. I'm going to do it. It's going to be a no-scope double, and then I'm going to pull out my pistol, and I'm going to get a third guy through that wall too, because I think a pistol might actually go through it. I'm going to double-check that right now. Let's see. Come on. Ha ha ha! Oh, sorry, Tony. I forgot. I forgot we're playing you. No, I, won't, I won't do all that. I'll do it next time we play Lennon. Do it. I gotta see that. I saw a couple of crazy things that uh, that everybody was doing. But there's a boot and flick shot that was just... 
fucking bonkers right uh, early in the second half. As soon as I flipped to him, the guy just hit two bonkers crazy shots. Let me see here. I guess it's going to be kind of tough for me to tell whether this goes through all the way or not, but I do feel like a pistol would probably, based on how much Nick's sniper rifle looked like it was going through. I mean, how? This is nuts. This looks like a huge, thick wall. Okay. What? That's confusing. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Was it just like this? Ha ha ha! I definitely saw Nick do some crazy shit on a few occasions. Okay, so it is right through the bench. Wow. That's so weird. Huh. That's, wow, that's so thin. Okay, at least it looks like the pistol doesn't go through it, but look at that. I mean, that goes through and still manages to penetrate this wall fully and this wall fully all the way to here. What is that, dude? That is, that is broken. I don't know how nobody caught this before today. Well, at least there's no MGs, right? Because then you just have somebody go like this and nobody would get well ever again. Oh, shit. Let's see here. Wait, I'm confused. What? That's definitely still the same bullet from before. What am I missing here? Sorry, I'm like obsessed with this wall shot. Oh, that would definitely be a, a Habib go-to strat right there. Like, yeah, don't worry about long or well. I got it covered. It seems like it's a, a pretty small area to get this right. I, I still haven't gotten it a second time. Oh, wait, that one went way over here. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? Well, no sniper can feel safe ever again. Ever, ever again. Poor Cage. Had to snipe that one. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, it went through... Uh, it definitely got two tree. Um, let's see if it goes all the way through the tree wall, too. I mean, look at all these fucking bullet holes. Jesus. Uh, maybe not. It finally stopped. The bullet finally stops here. Okay. So, yeah. Well, that's at least a plus. You can't do a, a septuple wall. Yeah. Insanity. Oh, you can. Holy shit. Yeah, there it is. So I need to aim down a little bit. Nick, how many kills did you end up getting on that last streak when you pushed connector? It was at least seven. That's still a little high. Looks like this. Huh. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, I think over plays at nine. Or are they playing right now? Oh, they are playing right now. Okay. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Where is the HLTV? I got this. I got this. Thunder. How come there's only like six people in there? Hopefully I didn't just miss it. 
Or maybe it's not even started yet. Yeah, it's not. No, there is people in there for an hour. Not the over guys, though. Okay. Oh, shit. There we go. There we go. Get that motherfucker up out of here. Or wait, is it in there? It is. Okay. Just wasn't connected yet. Perfect. I'm glad that I, I should I should spam that real quick, I guess. I thought that they were playing uh, at the same time as this one. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. I that was the big question of the Dodcast is will no name break a hundred in this match today? I said yes. I think it's highly likely. Shoutcast going live again. Over versus slow Loris on Duty Lennon. No name's favorite map. Oh shit, I better put in my little just in case, you know? Just in case people are unsure of where to find me. I better put my little linky poo. What the hell? There we go. There we go. <laughs> Nicholson just was like, here you go. You ha you could have all of them. I'm not getting shit done today. Okay, where's the HLTV? Why isn't it here yet? Am I fucking tripping? So we actually get to have a double header today. I love it. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, I got in. We're good. For a second, I was like, I forget what the password is, but I, I remembered it at the last possible second. So this should be fun. The only hope for Slow Lore is to contain No Name to... Oh, so sorry. To contain No Name to less than 100 kills overall here is if Hildebrand can just lock his ass down. Looks like Tom is going to ring for Slow Loris, yeah? You got Tom, you got Hildy, you got DB, Shreddies, Hopper, and I'm not sure who the other one is. I'm sure I can find out, though. Let's see here. Where are they? There they are. Bromley. Okay. So they've got two ringers in play here to Slow Loris. Ooh. I'm getting requests for where to find balls. And I am responding. Get, get balls back in business. We need balls everywhere. I'm a balls man. I kind of want another one, but I'm not going to do it. I don't need that much caffeine in my body. I'll never sleep. Oh, yeah. Boom. Ooh, there was still a little bit left in there. That sweet, sweet nectar of the gods. Ah, okay. We're fueled up. Yeah, me neither, dude. I was so excited when I, uh, like, just on a whim, searched for where I could get some. I wanted to find some around here to just, like, go into a store and get it, but I couldn't. There used to be a gas station, like, five minutes away from me that had them all the time, but they don't anymore. Um... But in the process, I found that you can get it on Amazon. 12 pack for like 30 bucks. Yeah, we got a double header cast. Then there's there's not anything again until 10 Eastern. Uh, we have our match at 9 Eastern, and then the silver match of the week of Washed Up versus Sleepers is at 10 Eastern, which should be a good match. Lennon always brings out the movie clips. Oh no, Jizzy Poo is, is in Turpin. Come on, Jizz. I've gone through quite a bit of nicotine today. Uh, T3 won by 295, I think, was the final uh, total. Booten with the top frag, car barring. Uh, Leo won behind him, and I believe Nick Patton in third. Nick was a little bit further behind, but then he went on a just the longest sniper movie streak I've ever seen, a sniper pushing connector. I have no idea how he didn't die. And when I push that spot with any weapon, I get naded just like that. The nade doesn't even have to land near me. I just get naded for being there. Even if no one threw a nade, I die to a nade somehow. 
I get, though, it can be hard sometimes. You're getting pushed back to your one. You don't want to throw a bad nade. You don't want to kill a teammate. <laughs> yeah, they had uh, Baron and Manor playing and Frank playing on top of the usual of Milo and Timo and Cage. Cage was sniping. No nightmare today. I don't think that would have made much of a difference, though, to be honest. T3 is just everywhere. There's no getting around those guys. And that's bad news for everybody who thought that T3 was maybe weak on the map of Lennon. Based on what happened to them last season on it when No Name got his hands on them. Apparently they're not weak on Lennon. No Name just is a god and destroyed them. Yeah, not unusually long. It is technically exactly the uh, the amount given for what was missing. Because it was all of them missing. Instead of just one or two or whatever. Waiting on their sixth. I'm not sure. Oh, I think it's Bromley. I think I already know that. I'm surprised nobody has come into this Discord channel. <laughs> no. There's Discord in the Twitch chat. Are they just going to play five on six? They're doing screenshots right now as if they are. Let's see here. I swear they have, yeah, they have a sixth in the Discord. Where is he? Who is for Hammy? Oh, that's Colin. Colin's ringing for over. I was trying to figure out who the fuck that was. Colin for Hambuga, I assume is Hammy. Seems to be going around. I saw Paul Kuhn playing as for Hambuga as well. But I mean, come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. He's done with the collie this time. <laughs> T3 was very good today. They were just on point everywhere. Like, there was never an empty spot. Oh, shit, yeah. How do I do that? Let's see here. I have a feeling I'm gonna... Change... No, that's not it. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Ah, I figured it out. That wasn't so hard. Hoover versus Loris. There we go. Wow, I can change a lot of little shit here, huh? What is this? Introducing channel points. Watch Cory Marco earn feet. Unlock rewards. That sounds good to me. Can I earn some feet? Oh, uh, I can't. Of course I can't. Feetism. For a second I misread that and thought he said he said he's robbing a bank. Which would have been really cool, to be fair. So I'm very curious to see if anybody on either of these teams are going to be doing any of the absolutely insane things that I just saw in that match, such as this. Let me find this angle here. I mean, how the fuck? It's just, it's just wide open space. That's why. There's nothing in between. So, you want to be like... Oh, shit. Hey, let's see, like... Yeah. So you go like, uh, to here. Nope. 
a little bit more to the right. Get up on this thing, right in this corner. Nope, a little more to the right. Doesn't seem to be a particularly good lineup for this to get it to connect her. So like this. Nope. I guess directly down the middle of the bench. <laughs> if anybody ever said BRB robbing a bank, they would gain my respect for life. If they were serious about it. If they were going to just go rob a bank and come back and play some Dodd, I'd be like, wow, that's a committed man right there. That's a man with principles and priorities. They would have to follow through. If it's just all talk, you know, that doesn't, that's nothing to me. I could say that any time and then go take a nap and come back and be like, yeah, I, I definitely robbed a bank. You'll see. Oh my god, I can't even imagine where the fuck that one is. Let me see here. Where would I expect that to be? I gotta find where there's like a wall that doesn't have anything in the middle of it. No. I already was over here. Hmm. Oh. Wow, that's awfully thin. So is that. Maybe like... Straight up that way? That looks doable. Just get posted up right here. Boom. I guess that would have to go through... One, two, three walls. But this wall is just nothing. It's just dead space. I mean, this is this is actually crazy to me that, that when Lurf made this, he didn't put anything. He didn't make this, like, rock-solid wall. It's just all empty space. Yeah, I know. You don't have to tell me. I'm going to find that. <laughs> we need proof of the robbery. Yes. Where the fuck else could this be? No, I mean this one you can shoot through, and this one technically. What about no, that's not that's not half the map. Maybe no. Hmm. Huh. Ah, uh, I don't know about that angle wise. Mm, I actually don't know if you can still wall through this, but in Lenin 2, you could. I only know that because one time I pushed connector and shot at a guy who was right here, and it killed him and a guy who was sitting on these steps in mid. And then, of course, my favorite shot that I finally hit the other day in a scrim again, this one. I've only done it twice. Oh, it's fixed. Oh, okay, damn. I wanted to find more movie movie wall shots I could do. I thought so, because I, I think that was one of the first things I tested when I got on this map. was like, can, you, can I still do this wall shot? Can I do this wall shot? This one you can do, I know. This, this stuff I'm not so sure about anymore. It seems like you can't wall through this. Actually, that looks pretty thin. Eh... Who fucking knows? Okay, we're fucking about to go live. Shit. I'll, I'll start recording right away this time. Oh, wait, I can just... Oh, I can't do it from in here, can I? Is it already recording is the question. Whatever, I'll record it just in case. Over Lennon test. First F. Oh, wait. There we go. So... I mean, this match, over or, uh, Slow Lords, they have a couple ringers, you know, I mean, I think everybody probably favors over here. This is a very strong map for over, and for one man in particular, who is the god of this map, and that's who we're going to watch here, because I, I mean, even odds that this guy's about to drop 100 kills. If I'm slow Loris, I'm really dedicating resources to prevent this guy from getting kills. And that's that's my one consolation. Nades coming through. Doesn't get out the window. 
He is ready for this push, and there it is. No Name opens it up right away with the car kill. Three down on Slow Lords very quick, and No Name will hit that shot too. He's done it to me many times. There it is. Both double caps go the way over right off the bat. Respawn comes in. Hildy does get Mata, so that helps. Nade coming from Big Window. Got to head out the double doors. Not trying to take that peek on No Name. Kum Kum does find DB and Apps, so that should be maybe... No, nice Nade by Bra... Wow. Where the hell did that go? I think it went over the top of this. Yeah. That's a fancy pantsy nade. Colin sees one jump out long, so there it is. They're going to get long cap right now with Slow Loris. That is nice. They get a little bit of momentum going here. Colin does have a double hold on mid here with one of the heavies. I think that's Raven. Oh, right when I switch off, someone comes at him. He's going to fall back to dubs and let this heavy do this work. Raven is taken down by DB in mid right away, and Slow Loris getting ready to try to go for a well cap. Shit is going down. Kum Kum did find DB. I might pee my pants before this is over, but that's fine. Here we go. Slow Loris. Nope, double windows. Raven gets one. Tom ready for this push through blue. There is someone right there. Oh, oh, he hit him. Hit that guy underpass, and he is finally taken down. Colin gets him. Mata heading back over to Long. Hildy waiting there, and that is the one big obstacle for over here is Hildy. That guy has been really fragging all season. Even on a slow Loris team that's winless right now, Hildy has been just incredible. No Name with a nice shot there on Bromley. Hildy is still lurking here, but No Name knows all the angles, and he will nade you. Come, come with the flank from Long. No kill for No Name that time, so he's going to have to pick up the pace a little bit here to reach that 100 mark. Only at 2-2 two and two right now, a little bit of a slow start. Colin does find another one on well, as Over does get Long too. Nice nade from Shreddies. He's pushing out blue. Just balls to the wall, pushed for Shreddy Series, all the way up into Blue Room. No flags here for Slow Loris, but they're one. Shreddy's letting him run by towards Underpass. He hears a lot of footsteps going on around him. He's going to have to fall back. Oh no, Shreddy's. Oh no. No, Shreddy's. You got to get one after that. There it is. Kum Kum goes down. He's got a chance for a second here. There it is. Jizzy Poo goes down as well. Shreddy's, ooh, third right there in Blue Hall. Might have a chance, gonna fall back. No Name is still pushing up to the one, and Slow Loris can't even attempt to come up behind Shreddy's here because No Name is wreaking havoc on them. Shreddy's with another two kills there. Shreddy's has gone off up at the first flag. That's another one. Shreddy's with a five piece and a soda here up at the first flag. They're gonna be able to go for well now, too. Anyone gonna come back double windows? There it is. Raven just got the break off on him. And No Name is taken down by Mata as well, so all that commotion leads to some gain control for Slow Loris, though not much. Mata is still pushed up all the way long, taken down by Hopper, and Colin's going to get in the mid. Nice drive-by shooting from DB there, going to grab the mid flag. Kum Kum trades him right away, and over is ready here to hold on to the well. Sprinting out there is Shreddies. He's taken down by DoD legend Jizzy, one of my all-time faves. Grabs himself a Garand. It is unfortunate that he has to stoss. He was a hell of a car back in the day. Oh, nice nade from Tom. Preemptively ready for that red push. Hildy does get no name again. Can they go for long now? Doesn't look like they have a second guy here. Oh! Oh, I thought he got that kill on the back guy first. Colin did trade it. DB and Hildy here in long haul. There it is. Kum Kum goes down too. And Colin. Mata got to try to hang on along here. Well is going to go down. Oh, he just missed. That looked like it went right through his head. DB takes him down. Jizz with the big double break nade, though. Hangs on to the well for over. Nice. Big, big break there for Jizz. Oh, he pushed up to the one, but Hopper was ready for it. And now No Name. Nice shot there on Bromley. Hildy waiting for him on the cap, though. Trades that. No Name not able to fully get going just yet. He is at 8-5. and five, Second top fragging behind Shreddies after that big, big six-kill streak he had. It looked a little dicey at first, but he got it. I do have a little bit of a girl bladder right now. It's been a while. I had two balls and a full bottle of water since I last pissed. That's a lot dead on over right now. Who's even left alive? Jizz? Yep, just Jizz here, hanging on. Oh, he's got a teammate with him. It is No Name. It's definitely the guy you'd want to be alive with Jizz here. Second kill for No Name as well. Finally taken down by a grenade from Bromley on long, so no long cap here for over. Colin is pushed into red with a car. Here's one coming that way. 
Just missed that shot. Pulls out the pistol. Jizz there to back him up. He's gonna shoot. He's gonna shoot his teammate. He didn't. Okay. It's getting a little scary for a second there. You don't want to assassinate Jizz, man. Tom, nice shot there on Colin from Connector as well. Jizz is still alive over here, though. DB able to get one out of blue. Jizz with a 2K from red. There's going to be a third coming his way as well. It's Shreddy's. Nades up, but I think Jizz has gone all the way over to Connector, right? Yep. Colin found DB. They're trying to spam him out of Connector right now. Jizz not having that, though. I think from that angle, they can actually see him from the spawn ramp. Yep, they did. Unfortunate there. It's a little bit different uh, from London B2. No Name is pushed up to his sweet spot, though. He's got one and two for No Name. Looking for the third now. He hears one. There it is. Hat trick for No Name. And now this is him getting going. Hopper's here as well. Looking for the fourth is No Name. And there it is. No Name with four out of the six. Looking for the ace right now. Just Shreddy's left alive on well side. There's the fifth guy for him. And he's got it. Five piece for No Name. Not going to be able to get the ace. But what a run by No Name. Lennon is his playground. And we're all just here to watch. Still alive and swing. That nade won't get him either. Oh, the jump peak. Perfectly done by DB. The only way to get around that guy is the double peak. And No Name's reign of terror is, is briefly over. Yeah, I know. Isn't it cool to see them play it up in gold again now? <laughs> right, Matt? Mata's got $1,000 on No Name for, for 95 kills or less here. He's doing his best to keep him down. Hildy, nice shot into swing. Looks like Slow Loris may be able to get the well cap here. Colin goes down at swing. No one there to break it. Cum Cum is there to break it. Goes back to double windows. Perfectly timed. And No Name swings over as well. Cum Cum goes down, but no further threat to cap this well. Now No Name's going to turn his attention over to Long. He's got Mata waiting for him. Hildy is still alive. He's in apps, though, so they'll just nade him out. Hops off the Long Cap. I think he suspects nade's coming. They're coming the other side long. He's ready for it. Yep, Hopper goes down. Hildy trades it right away, though. I don't know where from. Oh, he was he was right there. Okay. I didn't even see him. What the fuck? That's a lot dead on over right now. Who's left to allow their respawn? But they are pushing to the one right now. Long is taken. Over, back up onto the first flag. Shreddy's goes down in blue. Jizz taken on by a Colin nade, though. I think that was a dead nade because it was right in front of the flag. No, it wasn't a dead nade. He might have run into somebody while I was throwing it or something. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Oh my god. I gotta get that story. What? That that counts. I think that counts. Oh, big nade by Tom to get Colin, who's trying to push up into well there. Long is back on oversized, so a little bit of breathing room for him. No name up to 18 kills, 9 minutes in. He's going to have to hold on to Long by himself here. Where is he? Right on the flag. Looking for Hildy. Finds him! What a shot there. Man, he is just so crisp. And another one on Bromley. The last guy you want to run into when he's feeling it is No Name. Shreddy's the last alive. Respawn coming in, and No Name's pushing back, Cave. And this is basically like having the Joker right up in your ass right now. No Name looking to take down everybody on Slow Loris. The first, but he's found out by DB. Still delayed it long enough for over to grab that well cap. Up to five on three right now in favor of Slow Loris. Over looking to just hang on to the double caps here. Colin trying to find one, and Connector does. Nice little pre-fire there on Colin. Draws out the shot from Batcave. Didn't think he had the right angle on it there. Gets out. Hit for 21, and Shreddy's walls him from lower red into Connector. Traded right away by Jizzy Poo. And Mata is now posted up on the upper apps angle from Loft. Couple guys in on respawn. Tom up here in Connector. Grabs himself a car. Gonna have to deal with guys all over the place. Never mind, there's nobody there at all. But Jizz is pushing up from lower red. No name finds one. Hildy trying to get this guy out of lower red right now. Not happening. There's a bit of a spam off going on. I think Jizz is just drawing attention right now for no name to get pushed out too. If they start spamming him, if he hears more than one type of bullet going that way. Uh, never mind, no name. Still not there quite yet. Does get a pistol kill. 23 health on him. But you gotta peek this guy to kill him, you know? And that's the tough part. He's up to 22 and 9 now. Nine minutes in, so he's on pace for about 44. So he would have to drop 56 with a Garand. But I tell you what, that's not out of the question 
As long as he can get pushed up to long steps and L-Hall, he will get kills four and five at a time over and over again. Slow Loris just trying to hang on and not give up the cap here. Nice job for Colin from upper red. Mata still just hanging on to this swing door. No one coming just yet. There it is. One draws out the shot. Colin with another kill of his own. Raven finds one swing two. No name finds Hildy. That's a lot dead. Just Bromley and Hopper left. Hopper gets one. Jizz has the flag. They're going to go for mid right now. Is anybody there? There is. And Kumkum gets... No, he wouldn't have got it anyways. Good hold there by Bromley and... Uh, I think it was... D no, it wasn't DB. It was Hopper. Bromley and Hopper held on for dear life there. And they got the... Oh, Bromley's all the way up to blue. Nade comes out. Kumkum down. Mata grabs the mid. Bromley going for the pre-fire. Just going to drop a dead nade here instead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He doesn't know what to do. He does get the kill in the end. That was quite a display there. Bromley now a little bit paranoid because Jizz was way out on well behind him. It looks like they can go for this cap. Pre-firing into Blue Hall. Come comes Nade, gets him. Oh no, they only put the one guy on the cap. Nice shot by Colin there on Shreddies. And a second one on Tom as well. Colin now up to 15 and 12. Third on the team here. DB at 20 and 15 is second in the server right now. Looking great. 36 health on him here, but Raven is waiting up on the box. And No Name is getting himself out on long again. Tom found Dizzy Poo. Big Nade coming from Big Window. Not going to find anyone, but it did do some damage. And now we got No Name pushed all the way up to Back Cave again. Oh, boy. Lots died. Oh, never mind, not that many. Felt like a lot died in a row there, but I guess the respawn came in in ample time for Slow Loris to not have to worry too much. But No Name is behind enemy lines here. Up in Spiral. He's got a sniper watch in the top. Sees a second one coming out of Back Cave. Pre-fire's coming in. I'm, I'm afraid to peek this spot if no name's here. Oh, God, what a shot. Just deletes DB. Bromley and Hildy, the last two, and there it is. Mata with the cap out. Really, really good job by Slow Loris to hold out for that long, even, to be honest with you. It is tough to hang on to, to not give up a cap out when you have no name just constantly behind enemy lines, making life a living hell for you. But Mata just has nothing to do on long right now. He's at 6 and 12. I feel for him. This is like going along with Toxinator. Nice nade kill for No Name there on the jump out by Hopper. Hildy does find Raven. I think he picked up her apps. Shreddy sees two guys in connector. But one of them was a teammate. I lied. Mata goes down to Hildy as well. And there we go. Hildy overtakes some control on long. He's going to just push all the way up. Let the boys know to cap behind him. We'll see if they expect this all out balls to the wall push. Here they come. Mata's found, but No Name was ready for that push. That's kill number 29 for him. Six and a half minutes left. Slow Loris does get long. No Name taken down by Hopper after another kill to make it an even 30. Just ridiculous, this guy. Nice pre-fire for Kumkum Kum there. On to 15 health. DB can't be too pleased about that. He was... Prue! Nice shot on Hopper as well. Apartments down. Kumkum Kum ready for another. I don't think one's there, but I, I'm wrong often, so don't quote me on that. There is one there! Bromley gets him. Like I said, don't quote me. Don't quote me. No name with a big nade here for swing. Nice shot on Bromley in midair. Hildy able to return that right away, but good lord. Who do we got push? Jizzy pushing connector. He's got two to his name. Hopper finds him. Doing a good job hanging on to this first right now. There will be more coming, though. Nade just came from connector. Colin found one. Checking out the back cave push. Nothing going there. Did ha Is there anyone? Okay. Hopper didn't check it. He did now. Ready for the guy to be pushed up to his side long now. Hopper on 99 health. Mata is found, so the threat from long is down. No name back, though. Finds another one. And another one. Two for no name. Pushed up back cave. Taken down by Hildy. Hildy has been the anti-no name so far. Just kind of making sure he can't go on too many long streaks. Raven looking for the pre-fire here in the lower spiral. Colin is right there with him with a car. Trying to get his way up to swing door now. Raven wants to grab that bar. I can I can see it. Oh, uh, and if he had had it, that kill might have gone through. But Hopper is able to get him down. Hildy gets into mid. And a second kill for him there. Lots of kills going the way of Slow Loris. Hat trick for Ben. No name is still alive here on long, though. And that's a problem. He is expecting Hildy to come out those doors. Not happening just yet. Bar spamming. He's not going to give up his position. Here's him going blue hall now. Can make that call to the boys. Gonna go for a little flicky poo. Not finding it yet. I wouldn't be surprised if he did though. 
And now they just recongregate themselves around the loft. Mata gets up into the loft. Going to try to deal with uh, Hildebrand at the little wall there. A little sprint peek out. Not finding the shot. And now Hilda going to probably... Nope. Nope. He's just going full sprint peek out little wall. Now he's probably going to jump. Yep. There it is. <laughs> I mean, he was just trying anything to get, to get No Name to miss over and over again and try to get the shot back off on him. Brownlee does get Mata off long in the end. Looking for another nade kill, but No Name is pushed all the way up. Hopburger, the next one in line to try to end the Reign of Terror. And there it is. No Name goes down. 36 kills with four minutes left. It was just like eventually... He kept trying to do the sprint peak. So I figured eventually he was going to jump or he was going to go for the elbow peak. It was 50-50. I thought he was going to go loft after the first one. But then when he didn't go loft, it was like, okay, he's just, he's just desperately trying to get him out of here as quickly as possible. That's what I would have done, at least. When I'm playing against No Name, I'm just doing, like, anything to not peek normally. Because he will just hit that shot all day. Just a normal, uh, shallow peek. The sprint peek will work on him, though. It throws off your hitboxes a little bit. There we go. Hildy finds him again. Hildy doing a good job of at least keeping No Name from getting to 50 here. Colin is out here, too, with him, though. Finds a pistol kill. For a second, I thought that was another guy up in the loft, but it is his teammate. So, still a long cap here for over. Three minutes left. And slow Loris, I mean, all things being equal, not a bad effort. They're going to get the mid flag now. Over may be able to add another cap to this to make it a little bit more lopsided. No name is all the way back. Jay's going to push connector with this sniper rifle. Ready for all the angles here. Jizzy, also good with the sniper rifle, finds Hildy. And is immediately traded by Hopper. I did not expect that at all. That made me jump a little bit. Where's No Name? He's coming out lower. Finds two. There's still a guy behind him. Yeah, the call must not have come through. Hopper was still behind him over at the tree. And Colin finds him. And there it is. Damn, that's unfortunate for Slow Loris. They held on for so, so long. Twice. And in the end, they just get overwhelmed. So that is a 153-point lead. Two-ish minutes left. Hildy at 25 and 19, looking pretty good so far. DB, 23. But, of course, No Name, 29. Colin, 27. Kum Kum and Jiz just behind them. Mata with just nothing to do over there at Long right now. There's nothing to do. I, I know his pain right now. Having gone long with Toxinator as a sniper many, many times, you're just like, okay, well, I'll just wait here. You let me know if you need me. Three down, quick on over here. They don't fall back into Blue Hall just to make sure no one's going to get a free push to the first like Shreddy's earlier, and it works out for him. But a little bit of a crossfire setup on Long. Bromley is here. Hopper looks like he's at the, yep, box. They hear one in L Hall. It's probably no name. He's got a nade primed. There it is. Goes into the loft. Doesn't find one. Oh, oh, he checked it. Hopper goes down. Now Bromley going to have to contend with No Name here. He's hit through the wall. Here he comes. Oh, and there it is. Another kill for No Name as Colin's going on a run of his own. Over looks like they're going to get long. Colin pushed all the way. That's three. Colin going to fall back. Expects nades. There's... Oh, Jizz actually got that kill with the nade. And, and a nice peek by Hopper. Couldn't really see him through that little cage. Kum Kum there to trade him, though. Kum Kum pushed all the way out. Second kill for him on the bar. Grabs himself a sniper rifle. Oh, what a shot! Kum Kum with a fourth! Looking for the fifth. He's gone nuts. He's got a grand in hand now. Oh, and he just misses that shot on Tom. What a run by Kum Kum from underneath the first flag. Two bar kills, a pistol, and a no-scope. <laughs> that was crazy. No name up to 41. I said he was on pace for 44. He's got 20 seconds to get to that point. Shreddy's with a double Garand before he's traded by Kum Kum. Lots of dead guys here. No Name finds one more, and he is traded right away by DB, so he will finish at 42. A little bit behind the pace of what he would have wanted for a 100 bomb. Tom with two sniper kills. That's a lot down on over. Just Mata and Jizz left alive here. Three seconds left, so no chance to do any real damage, but overall was a 162-point victory. So basically like the same as what we saw. Actually, it was the other way around. That was the Axis side. So not looking great here for Slow Lores, but all things being equal, they were pushed back to their one for a long, long time to only give up two caps. They can't feel too down about that.
you know. I didn't check the frag totals on everybody else. I think Hildy was up there. I mean, I assume Hildy was up there. He always is. No, not looking great for the 100 frags at all. 42, he's got to get 58 with a Garand. Hildy was 26 and 23, DB 27 and 25. Those were the big boys on Slow Loris. Uh, no Name 42 and 19, Colin 32 and 18, Kum Kum 32 and 27, and Jizz 27 and 28. Mata and Raven coming up a little bit short there, but Mata really, it seemed like Mata would be like, all right, I'm going to go get a kill now, and then he'd just walk into a nade. No Name was just killing everything. It's like one of the most boring things you can do in this game is be a sniper on Long of Lenin when your, your rifle going with you is a god. There's just nothing to do. You, you think you can push too? It's like, okay, well, I can get pushed up into apartments. And then there's just, they just nade it immediately. Like, just right when you got there. And then that, that time back from the respawn feels, like, extra long. You get the 10-second respawn timer. Then it's, like, 30 seconds to get back to where you just died from. It's a rough life. And that's why J-Rod's going to go along with me tonight. Because I want some kills. Not letting Toxinator have all the glory on my long route. God. Let me get pushed up in apartments, please. No, in reality, J-Rod will definitely get the majority of the kills because I will be cowering in a corner to make sure that I don't lose the long cap once we got it. So, 170 points needed to make up this deficit for Slow Loris. Oh boy, it's already live. It's already live. Oh shit, oh shit. Give me that second half. Second half. There we go. All right, so, No Name on the quest for 100. Bromley has looked very good. I mean, he's going up against No Name, and that is no easy task. No Name with a big nade there, not going to find one, but three kills go the way of over right off the bat. The long team, mainly the ones left alive here. Shreddies does find one on Raven. He's up in Blue Hall. Hildy is taken down by Colin Underpass. So there's nobody long, I don't think, right now. Maybe Bromley? Yes. Oh, the flags are gone. Fuck. Bromley trying to fall back and make sure they don't push up to the one, because you can give up that long flag so fast. Kum Kum and Blue Hall taken down real quick after one kill, and now both the double caps go the way of uh, over here. Here's one to the left of him. Bromley spamming into the loft, not finding one just yet. He is being spammed back right now. Still lots of kills going the way of over. Colin has posted an upper tree. Raven found himself a sniper rifle, and you know he's pleased by that. No Name does go down to Hildebrand, so that'll help him get open out on along. Come, come, going to come over here and try to back him up with a grenade. Oh, boy, this might be a big one. No, they got by it. There it is. Kum Kum with one. Sees one long steps. Oh, no, and Jizz with a suicide and a TK nade, though. Come, come, still looking for more movie footage here. Shreddies, though, with the drive-by. Colin, a 2K of his own, pushing up underpass. He's got a car now. He hears one directly to his right, trying to just fall back and get away from that guy. There it is. Nice shot on Hildy coming around the corner at Arch. Gets back over to Blue. No name with a nade. And, uh, oh, just missed that shot. Did Colin. He's just cycling back and forth between Blue and Underpass right now with the car. Trying to hit these slick one-pixel Cheater Peak pre-fire shots. That nade didn't quite get out the door. Still spamming away in Blue. Has No Name with a nice shot there into, into L Hall. And now No Name is pushed up to his happy place. Second kill for No Name there. Trying to get to him, I swear. I don't think there's anyone here. Oh, there is Hopper. Two kill clutches it. Raven does find him. They're respawn. Mata with another one right onto the spawn. Second kill for Mata pushed up. DB going to go prone to try to hold. Mata looking for a third pushed out long here. 97 health on him. They need to get these nades all the way over. Raven goes down to Tom. And Mata getting prepared for a close peek. There it is. Mata gets shreddies. Going to scope in for some more up to the spawn. Hildy goes down to a jizz nade. There's one guy at trip box here. No name TK's jizz. And a double nade from Colin, I think. Oh, nope. They respawned again. Mata back up to L Hall. Hildy finds Colin. Nice kill for Mata. Still alive, cycling back and forth. No name, another kill. It's a little bit of a bloodbath here. All on Bromley. And he had a sniper rifle, so no chance of getting a multi-kill with four guys pushing for the first. And that's a quick cap. Colin is leading the way at eight right now. Raven just behind him at seven. And no name at four and two. 
I don't understand that either, Bullet. I honestly, like, I think sometimes if I disconnect and reconnect, they'll, they'll come back randomly, but it's usually not immediate. Like, it just, like, very randomly pops back up. I've tried to figure out, like, a consistent way to get them back, but it doesn't seem to make any difference what I do. Like, like I can do this. No, nope, like, so annoying. The number of glitches in this fucking game. Long cap goes the way of over there. Nice trade by Kum Kum in mid to get DB after one of his own. Shreddy's here in upper tree. Just missed that spam in a lower. Colin is right around this corner. Mata's getting multi for Actually, it was Jizz. Okay. Jizz with the pistol headshot. No Name does go down to Hopper before he can get anything else done on Long. He's down to 4 and 4. So a little bit of a slow start here for No Name. I'm sure he will pick it up. There's no such thing as a slow, full match for No Name. But uh, Over just has locked down this long cap right now. Kum Kum is here. Raven was here too. Kum Kum does go down to Hildy though, so there it is. There might be a chance for a long cap. No Name's Nade is just a little bit long, and Hildy gets him very quickly. Things turn around here for Slow Loris. Might be both double caps. They definitely got well. Why don't they have long yet? I'm confused. There it is. They got long. Now they got to hold on to middle to over. Tom trying to push up connector here. 63 health on him. Shreddies with an instant pistol headshot. Colin is lower red too, so Tom knows he can push up to the one now. Oh, he got one. Tom knows there's going to be one coming from behind. Shreddies takes him down. This might be it for Slow Loris. There it is. Oh, I hit stop sound, and right when I hit stop sound, DM show flags? Oh, shit. Oh, god damn it. Nah. Didn't do it. I think if I reconnected the next time somebody capped out, it would, it's like, will definitely come back. Sometimes it comes up sooner than that, but it's, it's so random. If I knew for a fact that this HLTV was actually like recording, recording, I would do it, but I don't know if anyone, uh, hit the record button today. I could, I could just do that. I hate having all the extra demos, but let's do it. Oh, shit. I forgot I could just hit retry, even though there's a password. Ugh. There's all, also a chance that the HLTV itself is recording, because it's ours. And a lot of the time, it's just auto-recording all fucking day. Give me back this demo name. Thank you, too. Alright, so not sure if anything happened in the meantime. Colin... Up to 11. Raven at 12. Both looking good. Shreddy's 11 on the Axis side. And there it is. The flags are back. We did it. Ha <laughs> ha. No, I've retried that enough. I don't need that lesson again. Oh, Kum Kum prone and Al Hall. Not able to get that kill. Oh, and DB takes him down before he can do any more damage. But Jizzy Poo's got himself a car underpass. There we go. One down. It's Shreddy's. Nade gonna be incoming. There it is. Oh, he sees one while he's throwing the nade. Just missed the pre-fire car on him. Still looking to spam him down. There it is. Nice shot on Tom. And a third. Hat trick for Jizz. He wants more. He can taste it. Pushing up to the trip box. Bromley finds one. Four piece there for Jizz. Finally taken down by Tom. But a vintage Jizz run from underpass on Lennon. And No Name has come back with nades for this first flag. Lots of kills going the way of uh, Slow Loris here, though. Just Colin and No Name left. No Name is in his happy place, at least. There's one. Oh, he hit him there, too. Gonna have to fall back to the steps. And they were ready for that. Big nade by DB. They did hold off long enough for reinforcements to come, though. Colin's still on well here. Gets two. Nice pre-fire there. And Mata snipe an underpass now. Tough to get by that without using your nades. Colin just uh, miffed that little bit of a nade. Mata finds another one in Arch. Pre-fire's coming in all over the place. One respawn coming in. Uh-oh. Thing is going a little bit south here for Slow Loris. Lots of deaths coming in a quick succession. Shreddies does find Kum Kum and L. 
Just missed that second shot. Jizz on long steps finds him. Mata underpass too. They're going to have a two-pronged attack at this first flat. Jizz with another kill of his own. Mata taken down by Hildy. Hildy holding on for dear life here. Jizz with another. Oh, and Hildy gets him, but Jizz went off on another streak. He's now leading the way at 17 kills. Jizz looking like the old days of Division Viking up against Unplugged, although this map didn't exist yet at that point, if I'm being honest. Shreddies does find Raven hiding an underpass. That's a big kill. Colin back of the well cap, spamming away on the Garand, finds Hildy. Oh, a little bit of bad timing there by Kum Kum. Runs into Tom. Colin hanging on for well. There are guys all over the place. He's one dubs. Hits him. Not going to find that frag. Gets the car. They're all over him right now. Pulls out the pistol. Nice headshot there. There is still another guy push dubs. It's Tom. And Colin dies at the first flag. 10, 11-ish minutes left right now. Colin and Jizz leading the way on the well cap. Shreddy's at 14. Tom, 13. Hildy, 11 for Slow Loris. Who's doing what? Hildy trying to find No Name over here. And right when he unscopes, No Name with a big, big grand shot. Jizz is pushed back up underpass again. No Name with a second kill, too. Could this be when No Name gets going? Third kill for No Name. Hat trick. He's got the sniper pushed up long steps. Sees one at the hole. Jizz finds one kill of his own. No Name on three right now. And they're going to go for the cap out. Oh, a big clutch. And there it is. No Name gets his fourth kill of the run, covering his teammate, capping that first flag, and another cap out for over. Extends that lead to... It's 107, and it was 163. So you're looking at 270. Just doing that really quick in my head. Yeah, right, dude. Seriously. It takes so goddamn long to learn with some of these chicks, though. It's like, this time it'll be different. It's never different, guys. It's never different. It ended for a reason. It's more, it's definitely the exception that proves the rule when it does turn out to be the right move. Unfortunately. Nice shot there for Tom on Colin and Upper Red. Tom having himself a pretty good half so far. The deaths are really more just a product of the fact that Over's been pushing the one this whole time. Oh, the nade kill against Jizz there in Lower Red. Shreddies is all the way up on the one. Nice 2k there for Raven to hold on to long, though. Wow. That's a tough cap to break. Shreddies has gone all the way back around to flank Raven. Gives up the first. Trying to find any room to breathe here for Slow Loris. He hears him come and swing. Oh, no. Sniper is there. Finds one of them. And there it is. Come, come with the drive-by no-scope, it looked like. Can't, can't verify that. Oh, but Ra Hopper finds him unexpectedly at the top of red. Or blue, I mean, and top of red. Jizz goes down to Hildy. Just trying to get anything they can hang on to here. Slow Loris. They did get a full cap, so if they can grab a few more, it would at least be a very respectable uh, effort by them here. Although, I think over, yeah, over did cap right back, so, you know. Colin spamming away to underpass, letting Jizzy know to chuck a nade down there. Spamming into lower, finds him. That's three down quickly. One came on respawn. Well cap and long cap going the way of over now. One is in blue, taken down by Colin. They're going to have a concerted push now out of blue and underpass. Colin finds himself a car. DB's there to take him. Jizz with one of his own and underpass, and Mod has pushed up long steps for one of his own. There he is. Shreddy's with a nade kill. Nice kill for Tom. No name's still alive over here, though. Kum Kum spamming him down from Blue Hall. Gets one. Jizz still alive on 11 health here in underpass. Gets a car! Oh, I thought that was a double for a second. It was not. No name here with a sniper still, though. Uh-oh. This could be trouble. They gotta get those nades on him if they wanna get him out of here. He's got one. They are just not peeking this guy right now. They, they are going to try to nade him, I would imagine. Second one. Oh, he sees two coming from the arch side. One got to trips. Nade comes out. Shreddies gets him. Big, big kill to get for Shreddies. You don't want No Name chilling for too long with a one-hit kill weapon anywhere near your first. Jizz gets going again, though. Like a choo-choo train. There's no stopping him once he starts. Hildy just missed that car shot. Going to avoid the nade. See if he can get pushed out on along here. I'm not sure where Mod is at. Could be anywhere at this point. I feel like bullets are coming through this wall to the right of Hildy right now. It sounds like it. No clue where Mod is. No name goes down to Tom and upper apps. The oh, Raven with a big flank. Traded right away. Traded right back. And middle is overs. See if they can go push for a cap out again. Respawn comes in. Colin here watching underpass. Trying to draw out the shots. Mata does find Hildy along. 
And now Colin, they might not expect this. They did. He finds one. Gonna need to reload. Sees one trips and one at the arch. Anything coming? Big nade coming from his teammate? Another kill there for Colin. Wait, what? Oh, for a second I thought... Oh, and a third. Hat trick for Colin. Goes down quickly. Lots of kills go... Oh, man, that would have been big. Raven push a blue hall. Has very low health. No name is pushed all the way up long, though. 21 health. Two kills on his name. Looking for more now. Third kill for no name. Fourth kill for no name. Oh, my God. When he gets going, man, the pre-fire is strong. Hildy had to shoot him out right on the hair of his dick to get him out of there. No name now second in frags behind Jizz. Hopper finds a car. Nice little flick shot there on Amada. Traded by Kumkum from behind. Kumkum been a bit of a thorn in the sides of Slow Loris here. Second kill for Kumkum. DB's going to try to get him out of there with the nade. Here it comes. And it will. 26 on Jizz right now, man. Turn him back the clock. I love it. No name with a double nade. He's back long. Uh-oh. Looking for more. Nade doesn't find one that time, but he's going to push out aggressive. Oh, 90 one of them. Nade's coming from both angles. Flying grand shot there. Hopper with the pre-fire. Not letting him get any more done. Colin seems a little skeptical that there might be one in his connector. Oh, he almost died of that nade there. Trying to pre-fire this guy in the lower tree. Not going to happen. Pulls out a nade instead over just getting on the respawn now. Nade does not get the frag. Does get it. Oh, nice 2K there by Colin. Looking for more, too. He hears him coming from all over the place. He turns around, though, at an inopportune time. And he's taken down by a Shreddy's nade as Bromley kills Hopper pushed up. Oh, that's got to be a really, really threatening uh, call from Hopper after that. I'm pushed up under their one. I'm pushed up under their fucking one. Fuck. Mata trying to clear out his side along. Never mind. Kumkum Kum does that for him. Gonna grab himself the car on his way. That 2K by Colin was as swift as it gets. Mata gonna be right up in Hildy's face here. I don't think Hildy expects it. No, he does. Waiting for the push. Nice no scope there on Mata. Scavenges this car now. Oh, but no name is waiting for him. No further kills. Kumkum Kum in blue with a double pistol there. Three kills for Kumkum Kum out of blue. He's got himself a car as well. Almost shot Jizzy coming by. Bromley holding on to the one. Does get no name. No name hasn't been able to really fully get going. Pushed up long steps. He's had a couple little quick streaks there, but none of the usual uh, just I impossible to kill him. It is different angles, though. 3K quickly there for Jizz out underpass. Car in his hands now, looking for the fourth. Hopper, nice kill. And now Raven trying to hang on to Blue Hall. I'm not sure if he's got a buddy here at all. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Here they come. Raven hanging out the double windows, bar in hand. Shreddies gets Mata, pushed up long steps. They're not in blue, apparently. I thought they were. There it is. No Name's got an aid coming from long, though. There it is. Hopper goes down. Colin with the bar, too. No Name. Colin. Colin goes down to DB. Ooh, he hit him with that shot, did No Name. 97 health on him, gets up into L. Wow, that angle is crazy, and Bromley got him. Nice shot there for Bromley. That is a tough one. Raven's still alive here, though, in blue. Nade kill for Jizz. Raven hanging onto that car. And over, gonna try to push for another cap out here. Oh, there's so many dead. Kum Kum with the hat trick. Can he get the fourth? Grabs the car, and gonna push for the cap instead. I'm not sure if he was prone, if he was uh, crouched, if he was standing, possibly. But a full cap. Caffrey's in the house, too, watching his team win here. As their lead extends to a total of 360 points-ish. Give or take a few. Jizz leading the way. 30 kills on the Garan. Looking excellent. Opening salvo goes to Colin on a nade kill. I believe Hildy was sniping underpass there. Bromley does get a couple of his own, though. Where is Colin? Did Colin go long, maybe? Connector? Yeah, okay. I was so confused for a second there. Like, nobody's here to break this, but Colin was definitely there. All right. Looks like both caps going to go the way of Slow Loris here. Anyone there along with him? Nope. Nope. He's got to push. No name is back, too. Uh-oh. So they might not get long. He's got nades ready to go. If they pushed up to their side long, that'll get them. They didn't. Going to have to take this peek out. Nice shot there on Bromley. And a nice shot onto the ramp. Wow, scoped in sniper. Hit him for 98. 
Just not enough to get the frag, and No Name gonna spam him at the Axis Loft to get rid of the rest of those bullets and take over the top frag lead right now. Although Kum Kum coming up quickly behind both him and Jizz with a lot of multi-kills. Shreddy is snuck through to the one. No Name goes down. What Shreddy's gonna do over here? He goes to flank instead. This is the second time he's done that and just given up all the map control. Gonna grab the flag in mid, but uh, nothing else that can really be done. Sees one connector. Car shot doesn't get the kill. Raven trades him right away from Blue Hall. Unfortunate set of circumstances there. Oh, Raven just missed that car shot. Sees him going to lower red. Gonna go all the way back around to blue. Here's Hoppers in mid. He knows one is in tree now. Spamming at the blue door. Nade comes in. Oh, boy. Oh, it's a dance-off with Tom. And Raven is a better dancer today. Hopper with the flank before Colin gets him. And the last minute left here now. If No Name's going to break 100, he's got to get 20-something kills in the last minute. So, my prediction was incorrect. And props to Slow Lores for that. They've done a good job of holding them down. For the most part, he hasn't been able to really go off on too many streaks after that first one on his Axis side. Did have another fast 4K, but Hildy killed him immediately after the fourth. So, lots of trades going the way here of Hover. Hildy with one hat trick there, actually, for Hildy. I don't know where he's at. Underpass, maybe? Nope, up on well. Ready for the double windows push as well. Wants a fourth. 30 seconds left. Hildy wants to go on a run. Here's one in lower red. They don't appear to want to peek this connector here. Oh, there it is. He hit him. The kill does not come through. Now he's ready for a flank from... Oh, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Oh, Jizzy with the bunny hop over top and the car kill. Second one for him as well. And Jizz is going to overtake that frag lead permanently on the Allied side with 35. Good game to both, and a dominant win for over. Just looking excellent on Lennon as always. No Name definitely overall gets the top frag with 76, I believe it was. Something like that. I'm going to double check. Lurf in the house, Jordan. Lennon matches are on right now, my man. Just got a few of them in. There's still more to come tonight, too. Hey, man, I'll take the good sniper spots on allies, please. You tell me where they're at, I'm going. Because most of the time, I just run uh, upper apartments, and then I just try to get the long steps in L Hall, and I usually die to a nade along the way. Good old DOD. So, wait, what was the frag total on no name there? Just to double check. I mean, it looks like he's probably in line for the MVP this week, of course. 34 on allies, 42. So, yeah, 76 and 43. Not quite the 2 to 1, but that will increase his KD ratio overall, I believe. Where are the stats at? Corey. Yep. Tell Jordan to accept my friend request. Jordan, uh, Jared says to accept his friend request. I think my stream is delayed, so it might take you two minutes to get the answer. So let's see here. Where was uh, No Name's KD? I wish I could. I wish I could sort this, but whenever I do, it does this. But he is definitely third in KD. Technically second, because Frank only now. Well, he now has three matches played, but I feel like that shouldn't be enough to qualify just yet. Where? Oh, where? Where is No Name? There he is. One point four one. So yeah, that will definitely increase it. Uh, Lurf says he's not at home. I'm reading the chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Nightmare at 175. What a ridiculous fucking KD that is. Jesus. So 175, 141, which will increase for No Name to stay firmly in second place. Followed closely by Jules at 138, uh, me at 135, and Tox at 133. And then, I love stats, you know, I just can't help myself. Who's next after that in the actual, like, qualified guys who have played five matches or whatever? Milo, it looks like. Right? 125? There's Hildy at 118. PDX 120, 119 on Nick. That might go up for Nick, though. Actually, it should definitely go up. So yeah, Milo is the next one, followed by PDX and Nick. Fun stuff. What time is it? Five o'clock. Wow, I really just... 
I really just cast it away the day. Um, still some DoD yet to come later on today, though. At 9 o'clock, I'm hoping there will be somebody that will cast um, the Us versus PMC match. There's also Icy App versus Clinic at the same time. If somebody would like to cast that instead of us, honestly, that, that Clinic Icy App match is a big, big one for the playoffs. Especially after Over secured that W. Oh yeah, I'll go. I am going. Um, but yeah, Clinic Icy Hot at 9 Eastern, if someone wants to cast that. Or also on 9 Eastern um, is Us versus PMC. Should anyone desire to bust out a cast on either of those matches. Otherwise, the next one for me will be at 10 Eastern. Washed up versus sleepers. I like the sniper spot that's over behind that tree. Wonder if everybody knows about the little KZ map that's in this spawn. Alright, give them to me. Go long loft entrance. You mean the Axis loft or, or my loft? Like this? Yeah. That is so well protected there. Jesus. They have to like hit you in the head with the car through that slab. Okay. There's a delay, so uh, it'll take a second to sync up. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean like this? This one, uh, that actually people were doing in a match earlier. That's such a, like, I mean... Guys trying to go in a loft. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, this, this loft is wallable, do you mean, or theirs? Oh, yeah, it looks like this one, too. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Just straight on in. Oh, I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of that. Like, knowing this spot, but I never thought to actually just... Oh. That makes allied side sniping much more feasible. Can't have the sniper just sit there and, and refuse to peek you. Can make him pay for that. Interesting. I did not know that. I guess I should have thought of that since there's a fucking wall right there and I usually shoot every wall. That makes sense. Okay. See, there was speculation on whether or not this was intentional, but obviously you would have noticed if there was a big fucking chunk of wall missing. Interesting. So that, yeah. That's beautiful. That forces the sniper... To not just sit here and refuse to engage the allied side of the map and stare at upper apps. I like that. That is very interesting. Because that is like the biggest downfall as an allied side sniper. Is like, if this guy doesn't want to peek you, like, what are you going to do? You just got to sit here, and then you got to push up out into the wide open and get fucking naded, or like, hope to God they miss a shot in time for you to scope. Okay. Interesting. Like here? Oh, wait, no, that doesn't see it. Oh, ow, oh, whoops. Okay. Yeah.
So you could just do it from here too. That that makes sense, yeah. That makes it so much more dynamic a route for the sniper because it's no longer just a big fucking waiting game. Right, yeah. I mean it goes both ways, you know, so even though the even though the allied sniper can obviously sit here and do this, the Axis sniper can also use that to their advantage to to try to take a different angle on this. And obviously, you know, it's a little hard to see. Gives you a little bit of protection. So far I've seen um I think it was just a couple people getting killed through it in this spot. I think actually the one guy that got killed had no idea where he was getting shot from. But Nick Patton definitely knew about that spot earlier in their match. Because it was like the big surprise of the moment. Like, what the fuck? What is he looking at over there? You know, from this angle, obviously, it's like... I mean, if they're over in the far... This far left side of the loft, I don't know. It looks like they might have some coverage to not... Let's see. Yeah, there's a little bit of a spot where they can avoid it. I mean, I guess you could just shoot through the wall. No, that's a huge wall. You couldn't shoot through that. So it's not totally OP. Yeah, for sure. That seems to be, in my head, that it's more of a an allied-sided thing, because you can just kind of, you know, that, that angle from an Axis side... You can just avoid it entirely as an ally and just never go up in a loft. You can probably just uh, even spam a little bit through this if you think there might be sitting there. Or worse comes to worse, you just hop up on this bad boy and you know he's coming. Interesting. Right, exactly. It is worth the gamble. I agree. And adding, adding stuff like that makes a route much more dynamic versus what it has been for all this time, where it's very much just like, as an Axis side sniper, for the most part, you just sit up there and stare, and there's nothing that can be done about it. Like, the Allied sniper is just shit out of luck. That you used to, I guess, maybe be able to go into these double doors and crouch hop over it to try to get them, but even that, like, you just get walled back instantly. That's cool, though. I like that. I wasn't sure uh, when we saw it the first time if it was intentional or not, but getting the explanation of it, that makes perfect sense. And obviously we can see here that it's going way through, so no sniper can just sit here comfortably forever without risking losing his head. And then there was also this wall spot, which was crazy. Leo hit that earlier, and I think Nick was trying to hit it as well. I don't think I got that right. I still don't understand the lineup on this spot exactly. Like, just straight through the middle? Nope. The fuck? Maybe I'm not supposed to crouch when I do. This is like the fucking tenth time I've tried to figure this out, and I still can't get it right. Okay, yep, yeah, that's what I thought. There it is, yeah. Because when I went through it in uh, in HLTV, I was like, oh yeah, that definitely goes through that. Because the standard is what, uh, 16? Like a standard wallable wall. Okay. Yeah, that is like, uh, everybody has been spamming it through the old spot. And I'm not sure if it... E Does it still go through that old spot? Like, next to the ramp? I've never... I'm never sure where I'm supposed to shoot here. Like this? Something like that? Yeah, I'm not sure either. I never have hit this shot, so if it does go through, I wouldn't even know. Uh Oh, that looks like a bullet hole. Nope, nope, those aren't bullet holes. That's something else. Huh. How can I figure this out? Like this? Okay. Oh yeah, that is right. Right down the center. Okay. It's a little bit like that. 
I love all the little added intricacies over there, though. Just to, get, just to give it something a little bit different and refreshing. Let's see here. So, pop on up. And it was, like, just a slight off to the right. Let's see if that did it. Hmm. I can't tell. No, those aren't bullet holes. Looking for any sign of this. <sighs> I wonder if I just, like, put particle effects on it. That'll make it a little easier to see. That was like, right. Oh, how I wish I could just open up HLAE to figure this out nice and quick with the wall hack on. Oh, is that a, is that a bullet hole? I can't tell, because there's a couple little black things over here. Well, it looks like it might be. I just gotta remember. <laughs> Oh, are we scrimming? My bad, my bad. Hold on, let me just do this one more time, and then I'll get off stream, and I'll come play. I just gotta see if that was actually a bullet hole or not. Okay, it doesn't look like it's a bullet hole, so inconclusive. That's the answer. Unless this is a bullet. No, that's not a bullet hole. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna get off stream and go scrim and pee, finally, because my bladder is exploding, but... Good game, T3, typical, slow Loris, and over. Uh, if somebody's going to cast those 9 o'clock games, let me know and I'll spam about it. And otherwise, I will be back at 10 Eastern for the silver match of the week, which is Washed Up and Sleepers on Lennon. It's a super, super important one, too, as is Clinic Icy Hot. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in like five hours. Good luck to everybody else who's got matches tonight. Love you all. Thanks for being here. Is there anyone else streaming? I guess I could raid. I should check that first. I get yelled at sometimes because I don't ever raid anybody else's chat. Um, offline, offline. Corey. Okay. What is that? Okay, is it dot raid? Oh, shit. Did it work? Yeah, there we go. All right, you guys have a good rest of the night. I'll see you in five hours, that is. Enjoy Corey's stream. Peace.